My name is Andrew Wiggum. I'm the Computer Information Systems Major here at the University of South Carolina Upstate. I'm here in the uh, Stavely Robotics Lab. Um, my project is funded by SEW Eurobrot, and uh, my application is in, um, an Android application that can run on any Android device, and it can control um, these robots uh, via Bluetooth. And today I'm going to show you a uh, demonstration of that. Um, here we have uh, two robots working on uh, normal tasks that they would uh, run in the uh, industrial environment. And, uh, this one's just uh, picking up objects and placing them, and this one is supposedly welding. And um, when uh, robots are running these applications um, in an environment, there are uh, a few ways to uh, stop they're, they're uh, running. One is to uh, stop normally or uh, continue out its cycle until it finishes. Or you can stop in an emergency situation and just have it stop immediately and break immediately. So, um, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, stop normally on this machine. And uh, just show you real quickly. Um, this is my. Um, application. Let me just go ahead and oh. ah. Alright, uh, but first you get, um, have to connect to the robot. Um, the application you just hit the add robot button and all the Bluetooth devices in the area will uh, come up and so this one's called server It'll connect to it and hit the send button and it'll send a um, XML message to the uh, robot which it should stop at it after its current cycle and it did. After stopping the robot normally we can also restart it normally by uh, connect reconnecting the robot and issuing a start normal command. Now I'm going to show you um, how to uh, stop the robot in an emergency situation. Um, again, I have to uh, click the add robot button and um, connect via Bluetooth to the robot. And it says it's connected. And now um, I type in call stop emergency. That's the command to stop it. And upon hitting the send button, it should stop the robot. And I'm pushing it now and it stops.